Hello and happy Canada Day to everybody who uh, tunes in. I, uh, my name's Reverend Warner Bloomfield, and I'm the minister at Grace United Church, and I'm uh, happy to spend this time with you as a moment of reflection, scripture, and of prayer. Um, as I said, it's Canada Day. We celebrate the, uh, the birthday of this country. And, uh, well, oh, oh, I'm showing Ellie now. Um, I'm coming turning around <laughs> sorry so, about that so for, this, this is some of the things that happen when you're playing with a phone <laughs> um, so anyways I think I'll what I came up with today was a scripture from 2nd Corinthians about reconciliation because I think sometimes that's something we should think about especially on these days that can be happy but also point to uh, some of the, the tr struggles we still have as a people this is from 2 Corinthians chapter 5. So, if anyone is in Christ, there is new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ, and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ God was reconciling the word world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting the message of reconciliation to us. So, we are ambassadors for Christ, since God is making this appeal through us. We entreat you on behalf of Christ to be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be, made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteous of God. Let us pray. Loving God, on this July 1st we offer our thanks for Canada. We thank you that we live in a country that strives for equality and justice, and that proclaims that protecting everyone, whether it be through health or financial stability, it is a priority. We thank you that we live in a country filled with natural wonders and a diversity of people and environments. Inspire us to protect all of it. Show us the ways we can nurture what we have and promote the best of who we are and who we strive to be. At the same time, we acknowledge that Canada still has much to account for and much work to do. We are a country that was born out of colonization. The violence inflicted on her first peoples is a dark point in our story that continues to haunt us. In many ways, it continues to this day and must still be dealt with. Homelessness, poverty, and underemployment are still real issues for far too many people, and racism is still a reality in this country. So we pray for healing and peace, that as much as we love this country, as much as we are grateful that we live here and we see how much Canada can be, we pray Canada can grow to be what so many people desire this country to be. Help us to be part of making that vision a reality, a country of true peace and justice, a country that truly values its environment and celebrates its diversity through its actions and policy, and not just with words. We pray for those suffering oppression and neglect. We pray for those who are ill and in pain. We pray for those who are lost and those who have lost. We pray for those grieving and those living with concern for an uncertain future. May all of them and all of us know your compassion, our love, your love, your peace. May we find strength in your presence to be tools for your work of healing. All this we pray in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. I thank you for joining me this today, and that you may have a joyous and happy and glorious Canada Day, and for the rest of this weekend.